Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is an update and follow-up of a video I posted a few days ago based on the idea of using the 200% render scale in the PC settings to enhance the VR experience. And guys, it worked. I don't really know why or how, and nothing's really making sense to me right now, but last night I was doing a lot of tinkering again, and I went into the VR mode and bam, it hit me. And the best way I can describe the change is that you'll, it looks much more like you're looking at a monitor, but in VR, if that makes sense. So VR users, it looks obviously like VR, but it looks like the monitor. The graphics look like the monitor. I don't know if you can see it in this video. You can see I'm over Hawaii. The major differences I'm noticing are the tones of blue in the water and the detail on the coastal lines. Also, I'm noticing a lot more saturation and a lot more difference in tone. It is amazing. It's a game changer for me. I just want to say thanks to Ben Maud for finding this. <laughs> I think they're talking about naming the mod after him, which is cool. Uh, but thanks a lot. And also I want to say thanks to uh, Jose, the VR pilot, for all your help as well, because we've been chatting together about this. He's been really helpful. So thank you, both of you guys, for that. That's really cool. And this is my experience, basically. And I'll just go through some of the settings that I used. All my VR settings are the same, so you can click on the link now to see those settings in a different video. And here are my PC settings. You can see I've got the display mode set to full screen. The full screen resolution is 2560 by 1440. That's for my monitor. Everything is set to ultra and the render scaling is set to 200, as well as the terrain level of detail. On here you can see everything is set to ultra or the highest it can go and the object levels of detail is at 200. So I've just put everything to the max. Now, luckily, my computer runs it fine with these settings. I wouldn't say it's fine in game, but in menus and stuff. A lot of people are saying that their computers can't handle the stress of this, but mine can, so this is what I do. And there are a few different ways of doing it. I just want to go through them with you so you can try them all yourself. As you probably already know, the VR can be pretty inconsistent. That's why I've just noted down two methods for you to follow to try and do this on your own system. For method one, you load into the simulator as normal. And you set up the flight and then you enter the flight then you enter the VR mode once you're in the flight. Once you're in the flight, you press the escape button, you click on general, and you change the PC settings there. You can use mine as a reference, and then you go back out and you continue your flight, and you should see the change. Please remember, it's all trial and error at this point, so if it doesn't work, relax, and maybe reset and try it again. Remember, it took me a few days to get it to work. And the other way of doing it is if you just load into the simulator as normal, and you just go right ahead and click on options, general, and then you just change the PC settings there whilst you're in 2D mode. You set up your flight, and you enter VR mode, and then you start your flight. And you should see some difference if it works. Again, guys, be patient, be open-minded. No one really knows why this is happening. I'm sure we'll know soon enough. But for now, it's going to be patient and just mess around with the settings to see if anything changes. A lot of people are reporting that they need to reset the settings every time they go in and out of the simulator. So for the time being, just make sure you check the settings each time you fly. And I'm hoping this will all be sorted out soon, guys. For this video, I included footage for both the Reverb G2 and the Quest 2. So both headsets are giving me this effect. Obviously, the Quest 2 is not quite as high resolution as the Reverb G2, as we know. And I am also getting the enhancement in the Quest 2. You can see the saturation of the headsets different in my video here. But it's still very, very clear. And it does look like a monitor, again, through the VR headset. It's weird. It's like... You get the immersion, but now you're getting the depth and the detail of the, what you get in the monitor, which is unbelievable. So I'm hoping that the settings are bleeding over, both the PC and the VR are kind of mixing up and enhancing it for us. Hopefully that's what's happening, and hopefully the team in uh, Sobo can fix it and make everyone's like this all the time without any inconsistencies. That'd be brilliant. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you try and get this enhancement on your own system. I just got it after a few days, so be patient with it. And I'm really, really excited about this. This is huge in the VR mode, huge. You can see, look at the water detail. It's amazing. It's so much better. It's so much clearer. All the weaknesses of VR seem to have disappeared now in my system. I understand I've got a high-end PC, but I really think that everyone can get this effect because I think it's part of the simulation build. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'm sure I'll be back with another video soon about this very thing. And I might just do some flights and just do some recording and just to show you how amazing this looks. I hope it does translate. I think it does look better in the videos as well. You can see more detail in the water and the buildings and the, everything, the terrain and the light, everything. 
Anyway, guys, in the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.